Hello, it's April from April's Home, and today I thought I would share with you a small weekly grocery haul. About once a week, I do like to run into the grocery store to stock up on a fresh produce and anything that I need for a recipe, and also to look for things on sale. So today, I stopped off at a local store here called Fred Meyer. It is a Kroger store, and I found some great produce and some wonderful deals on meat here, so I thought I would go ahead and share with you what I picked up this week. So for produce, I wanted to stock up on some fruits and things. These little pears smelled delicious, and I think that this will be a nice thing to have on hand. I needed more bell peppers. I went through all the other bell peppers I have. I'm working on a recipe with these, so needed more bell peppers. And then this time of year, they have two of my favorite variety of grapes. These are the cotton candy grapes. They are so delicious. And then my other favorite, moon drops. These are what the moon drop grapes are like, and they are just delicious. So I like to get these while they're still in season. Cotton candy and moon drop grapes, they are so good. And we love to have these for lunches. Then I picked up another chopped salad kit. This is the Mexican street corn chopped salad kit. I picked up some easy peel mandarins. The grandkids really love these and actually so do my children. And then I picked up some fresh raspberries. Tonight my grandkids are coming over so I thought I would be sure and have some fresh fruit for them to snack on. I also needed some sliced mushrooms here for a recipe and more green onions. So I bought another bunch of green onions. I wanted to grab a couple more bags of the California style veggies. These are the veggies I go through multiple days per week. And then this is a fun treat that I picked up. Like I said, my grandkids are coming over tonight. So I thought it would be fun to try out this pumpkin flavored eggnog. We love eggnog around here and I think it's fun that they had a pumpkin flavor for October. And then here are all of the meat items I picked up. I was not planning on purchasing any meat. We have plenty of meat right now, but this meat was on such a good sale that I couldn't pass it up. The pork shoulder were on sale for $1.99 a pound. This one would normally have been $28.14 and it was down to $18.73. This one was down to $18.55. So two very large pork shoulders. I will have to make room for these in my freezer. These make wonderful uh, family dinners. We do these in the crock pot and make nice big batch of pulled pork. So that is what I'll be doing with these. And I don't have it on the meal plan right now to have this, so I will tuck these away in the freezer for later. And I had on the menu plan to make the grandkids grain-free chicken nuggets, but then I spotted these little pork chops on sale for only $5, and that is less expensive than the ground chicken that I used to make their nuggets, and I thought it would be fun to see what they thought of a little thin pork chops like this. I think that they'll really like them. I picked up two trays for $5. That way I can make up a bunch. There'll be enough for all the grandkids and me and my husband, as well as some that I will set aside for our lunches. But for $5 for two nice sized trays of pork chops, I thought that that was a really good deal. And I thought that would be a good thing to swap out uh, for tonight's dinner. And then these were on sale. These were not as inexpensive as the pork shoulders. These were on sale for $2.99 a pound, but that is still about half price. I rarely cook baby back ribs here, but my husband absolutely loves ribs. So I picked up two of those and I will make these as a meal for him. I'm not sure when again, it is not on the meal plan. I may have to swap out another meal because I think he's going to really love these and I thought that'd be a good treat for him. So I got um, two packs of the ribs there, and then I also decided for the ribs that I would go ahead and pick up some extra Primal Kitchen unsweetened classic barbecue sauce. I really enjoy this uh, low sugar Primal Kitchen barbecue sauce. And then also for those of us who do not enjoy the Primal Kitchen as much as their Sweet Baby Ray's honey barbecue sauce, I figured I better pick up some of this as well. And this will also be something that I can use with the pulled pork dinners as well. Then I only picked up one Halloween uh, candy item to set aside for Halloween. I like to get most of my Halloween candy from either Walmart, and there's also a store here in my small town that I usually go to and stock up on all of our Halloween candy. But this one looked like a fun mix. It had Sour Patch Kids, Swedish Fish, and little miniature Oreos, and there were a 65 count on this. So I thought that would be a fun one to set aside. 
Then a couple more little goodies over here. This is what I'll be serving with the pork chops tonight. I won't be having any of this uh, mac and cheese because I'm having a grain free day, but my grandson has really been into Mario lately and his younger sister and his younger cousin are learning a little bit about Mario too because he loves it so much. So I spotted these mac and cheeses in Mario shapes and I thought that'd be fun uh, to have with our pork chops here. So I will just have veggies with my pork chops tonight. So we'll probably have that with just these veggies here or ones from my freezer just to keep those rotated and pork chops and mac and cheese instead of our grain-free chicken nugget meal which probably would have been pretty similar just swapping out those uh, pork chops for the grain free nuggets. If you have been following my channel for some time, you know that I love to try out all the different flavors of Oreos that come out and I love having them on hand for my family. I love setting these out for Sunday lunch and um, getting everyone's opinion on what they think of the new flavor of cookie. So this time, however, there was a cookie and a soda combo. So Coca-Cola has partnered with Oreo to make a Coca-Cola flavored Oreo. And for their sodas here, these are the zero sugar sodas. So this actually means I could try one of these uh, anytime. Um, an Oreo Coca-Cola. So Coca-Cola flavored like Oreos and Oreos flavored like Coca-Cola. That was just too fun for me to pass up. And I'm excited to give these a try um, this coming Sunday. If you've tried these out, I would love to hear in the comments what you think of Coca-Cola Oreos and Oreo Coca-Cola. And hopefully I will be able to include a small clip of what I think of both of these flavors. And I'll go ahead and insert that here and let you know what I think of the Coca-Cola Oreos and the Oreo Coca-Cola. I thought I would go ahead and film a small taste test here. We have opened up the Coca-Cola Oreos and the family really did enjoy these. They definitely have a good Coca-Cola scent and flavor here. You can see the filling in there. And the neat thing about these that I didn't realize is that they have popping candy inside. So as you're eating them, um, you can taste that popping candy, similar to like Pop Rocks. And again, they really have initially a very good Coca-Cola scent to them. And here's what they look like. They're a regular Oreo on one side and then a Coca-Cola red cookie on the other side. And then of course the filling also has that Coca-Cola flavor. So it's sort of like a Coca-Cola and chocolate flavor. And then we have the Coca-Cola Zero Sugar here that I'm gonna go ahead and try today. I did have one sip of this when my family opened up another can, but I would like to get another taste here just to see what this Oreo Coca-Cola Zero Sugar tastes like. We don't drink a lot of pop around here anymore, but again, I thought that this was such a fun flavor combo, and if you've followed me for any length of time, you know how much I love to try the different flavors, especially of Oreos. So I'm going to go ahead first and take a sip of this limited edition Oreo Coca-Cola Zero Sugar here. And that is actually pretty good. You can taste the Oreo and Coca-Cola in this drink. Um, it does taste a bit like a, you've added a little bit of chocolate syrup to a Coca-Cola. That's kind of what it tastes like, but also a little bit of the cream flavor from Oreo. And I will say too, I am pretty sensitive to the flavors of uh, sugar substitutes, and I can kind of taste a back note of the sucralose in that. So if you're sensitive to that, that's probably something you'll want to pass on or just have a small amount. That is one of the things I liked about this is that the cans were the small cans. So I didn't need to have a big can. I will probably not even finish this whole uh, tiny can here, but I do love the tiny size and it is super fun that it tastes like Oreo and Coca-Cola. So that's pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and take one more sip and then I'll try the cookie. Yes, you can definitely taste that Oreo in there. Okay, so now for the Oreo Coca-Cola cookie here. I'm gonna go ahead and try a bite of the Oreo Coca-Cola cookie. And these are actually really delicious. I love the flavor in that. Um, the Coca-Cola tempers the chocolate flavor. They are really sweet, but in a really good way, I think. I love the addition of the popping candy. I always think popping candy is a super fun addition to the different Oreo flavors. So really tasty. I think out of the two, 
My favorite is definitely the Oreo Coca-Cola cookies. They are really delicious. It's a fun, fun flavor combo. If you spot these while you're out and about, I would definitely say it's worth a try, especially if you like the flavor of Coca-Cola and Oreo. So it's really good. Definitely a fun flavor to try out. So what a fun little combo there and a fun little treat. As always, it is so fun trying the different flavors of Oreo and it was extra fun that they went ahead and did an Oreo Coca-Cola too. I look forward to eating the rest of my cookies here and drinking a bit more of the Oreo Coca-Cola. Then I also picked up this fun uh, limited edition Starbucks coffee flavor here. We don't often try the flavored coffees, but this smoked butterscotch smelled really good. You could smell it through the bag here. It has brown sugar and smoky notes and that just sounded really intriguing to me so I thought that we could give that a try for a nice fall flavored coffee here. The smoked butterscotch Starbucks coffee. And then one last treat back here. This is another thing that I had seen um, people enjoying. This is the Beetlejuice Fanta in apple flavor. I love apple flavored soda and apple flavored things, so I'm really excited to try this out. My husband and I did go on a date to see Beetlejuice recently for a fun kickoff to the Halloween season. I thought it would be fun to see Beetlejuice 2 in the theater. There were a lot of cameos, a lot of the people that played in the original Beetlejuice, as well as just actors from back in the day. Again, a lot of fun cameos. It was a little bit of a quirky movie, but I really enjoyed it. I think both Michael Keaton and Winona Ryder did a really good job in the movie. This was directed by Tim Burton, and it was, again, it was just a really fun movie. It was a nice date night, so I thought it would be really fun to try out a Fanta-themed haunted apple drink, and also all the guys in the family do enjoy trying out sodas on the weekend as well. They enjoy the different flavors that I find, and uh, love getting those out on Sunday when they're over as well. So I'm sure everybody will enjoy uh, trying out this Haunted Apple Fanta here. So some fun little goodies there along with some great deals on meat here, great sales on the different kinds of pork, and we're all stocked up on fresh fruits and vegetables for the week. And the total for all of these groceries was a little bit high because of all the meats and things. It was just under $200. So that is what I spent for this week's groceries. And that'll be really nice to put away some of this meat into the freezer. I hope you enjoyed checking out my week weekly grocery haul here and I hope everyone is having a wonderful week. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.